H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. So, INTEGER, this is a class. Integer is a class. For data types, they have specifically mentioned classes. Int is a data type. Integer is a class. Oh, okay. So, for every data type, they defined a class which will help us to create an object for that data types. That's what I mentioned here. If you see here, int. Are you able to see notepad? Int. Int. Integer is a class. Float. Capital F. A float is a class. So what happened here? They, for us, for our understanding only, for our need, they created, for every data type, they created one class because classes helps us to create objects. Okay? Classes helps us to create objects. Let's go back to Eclipse. So in short, what I am trying to tell you is linker list is useful to create duplicate objects. So if you see, I added 5, added 4, added 4 again, okay, and I'll try to print the list. When I try to print the list, these elements will be stored in the array. How it will be stored? 5, comma 4, comma 1, comma 4. Let's display and size. Size gives 4. Size gives the 4 and index starts from 0, that's why I told you, 0, 5, 1, 4, 2, 1, 3, 4. When I say get of 1, I'll get 4. When I say get of 2, I get 1. Okay. And I'm trying to print these values using for loop. And I'm telling again, list is index based. Index based means what? We can use a get function, which is available in the link list class. List dot get of index. Okay, list is index based. Again, I'm repeating, list is index based. That's the reason you are going to retrieve the elements using indexing. Means list dot get of index. Here, list of get of one retrieves four. List of get of two one. Okay, that's the reason. Last time when I explained, people asked me two examples. I sent two examples. One for string, one for integers. For you people, for your understanding only, I sent two examples. If you recollect or not, I sent two examples for everyone. Okay, to check that, right? So how to retrieve the elements? You can retrieve the elements using for loop, right? See how we write it? For int i is equal to zero, i less than list dot size. What is size? Size is a method available in the linked list class. What is get? Get is a method available in the linked list class. So these are the methods available in the linked list class, which are non-static and they are going to be called using invoked using the object what is the object here list is an object okay the for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than list dot size i plus plus and i am printing list dot get of i again i am saying list is index based that's the reason we are going to invoke using indexing and there is a method for invoking the elements using indexing which is called get method get method is available only in the list not in the set okay again i'll write it here i'm writing the notepad what i have told you list is a index based list is an or else for understanding, I'll write link list. Link list. Link list is an index based. So we can retrieve elements. using get method get of index that's what we use using index these were list now we need to use us we need to write a same manner we'll write for hash set let's see the example 
yes all the classes which are implementing list are index based because get is a method which is an abstract is defined in the list so all these classes are index based okay again i'll write down here somebody is asking so all are index based because see if i say one one class because every class contains these methods so all are index based okay fine if you want to practice you can change in the place of linked list just replace with error list and just try the example it will work there is no change in the implementation okay implementation is exact there is no change okay now we'll see now we'll see set okay set let me write a program for set we are going to set so when i try to talk about set set is an interface which will allow unique objects the classes which are implementing setter has set reset linked has set okay so what i am doing right now is i am creating an example for has set let's create an example for has set okay let's see the eclipse now i'll close everything i'll create a fresh one util util is a package i think so i created util is a package okay so let me create um, okay i'll delete it i already have something let me delete i'll write a fresh one now so let me write down the fresh one new right click new class what is the example i'll keep it has set integer example has set integer example okay, some name the name is uh, this name i am keeping it my understanding any name i can keep it okay so i created some class name has set integer example so let's start writing the program so this program i want to execute if you want to execute the program you should require you should write a main method see i am writing a main method see m a i n control space okay you are writing a space fine so what is a uh, what we are planning to do we are planning to use the class called has set so when i try to talk about a class i have to create an object first first let me create a class first me write to create an object first has set h a s h capital s e t has set then suppose for example i just mention for understanding set is equal to new h a s h s e t as everybody knows whenever you try to write a class use a class we have to import it how do we import it control plus shift plus o the class name you can give any name that's for our understanding okay this class name is for our understanding there is no relationship with this one and this one this is available in the package let's see control shift plus o i'm just printing control shift plus o let's see control shift plus o see this class available in this package java dot util is a package okay this is my understanding my my class i am creating my class that name is different this name is different don't confuse don't get confused this class is available in the package java dot util okay so when compared with the last example i told you what so we have to mention what kind of objects we are storing no it's not class name object that is different this is the class available in the package java dot util we are trying to use the class available within that package not this class not this one okay so has set is a class we are trying to create instance of the class okay and as i told you in the beginning we have to we have to create an we have to mention what kind of object we are storing so let's try to store integers now i'll mention integers see integer i am trying to store i n t e g e r okay uh, can anybody tell me when i am trying to use the class called integer it is not asking me to import any statements why anybody knows why because when i say has set it is asking me to import but when i use integer class it is not asking me to import can anybody knows why we we are not why we are not importing this class because this class is also available in some package yes somebody written it is in lang package by default java.lang is imported we no need to import 
Actually, this class is available. Are you able to see? This class is available in the package java.lang. Okay, the classes which are available in the java.lang are default getting imported. You know to import. So, the classes which are available in java.lang, shall I tell you all the classes available in java.lang? System class, integer class. I think I already sent a mail. Somebody asked me about java.lang class. I think I sent, sent a mail with all these details actually. If you want, just go and check it. Okay, or else uh, you if you want, you just say Java dot lang dot. You get all the things. How do you know what are the classes available? See, let's see. I'll write down here. Import Java dot lang dot. See when I say dot. See these are the classes. If any of these classes, if you use which are available in the java.lang package this and all we know not to import see when I say integer see integer is available in this package int so we know not to import if you import also not an issue basically the classes which are available in the java.lang no need to import that's what you have to know okay these are the classes which are in the java.lang are by default getting imported okay fine now what is our objective set is an object available in the set is an object for the class has set so using the object what I can do so what is the what is the purpose of creating an object here can anybody tell me what is the purpose of creating an object here we are trying to access using object what will do we are trying to access non static methods right that is objective right so when it's a set dot, I can access non-static methods available in the class. See, there are so many methods that define which are non-static. Let's focus on one method which is called add. Add. So I add what? I'll add some numbers. Say suppose for example five. I added five. I'm adding set dot add. I'll add uh, four. I'll add one more number. Set dot add. So nine. So how many numbers I added? I added three numbers, right? So how, what is the size of the set? How do we get the size of the set? Sys4. How do you get the size of the set? Set dot size. So when I print, when I execute this program, I get the size as three. Let me run now. I get the size as let me run now see I'll set the application see I'm getting the size as 3 but if you want to make it more more understandable I'll write down here see let me write down and execute again the size of the set is I'll write down see this is the best way of writing the size of set is size of set is just write down some meaningful name, meaningful sentence and just print it. Then you know what is the size of the set. Let me run again. See what it is showing? The size of the set is 3. Okay, so this is done. So what I will do now? I will try to, try to add an integer which is already available. That's what we have to see because we are adding all numbers which are not duplicate. I will try to add one more number. See? One more integer object. Set dot add. I'm adding nine again. What I'm trying to see? I'm trying to add nine again. Are you getting what I'm doing? No. I'm trying to add the same object again to check whether set allows unique objects or not. So when I try to print set dot size, what is the size of it now? The size is three only. There is no change because set no size is three. Let's see. Let's see the size now. See why the size of set is three because set doesn't allow duplicate objects. Now everybody is getting, but in the case of linked list, even if you add four or nine again, it will try to add and size will change. But case in the case of set, the size will not change because duplicate objects getting ignored. That is the main object of size set. Okay. See this is ignored. I'll write down here, this is ignored. Duplicate object ignored.
okay it is ignored so now let's see for loop one more thing as i told you set is not index based so how do you know set is index based or not when i say set dot get set dot get see is there any method with get no there is no method with the get so i can say that there is no any there is no method which i can retrieve the values using indexing so set is not index based so what i'll say here set is not index based set is not index based i'm writing the notepad i hope i think everybody is able to see the notepad set is not index based because there is no get method available in set That's about set. So how do we retrieve the elements? Because there is no get method. Is there any other way to get to retrieve the elements from the set? Yes. There is another way of retrieving the elements from the set using another kind of for loop that is called as for each for loop. So what we are seeing now, for each for loop for retrieving the elements from set. For each for loop. This is easy. Let's see. Let's see everybody carefully. I am writing a for loop to retrieve the elements from the set which is different from the linked list see here for so what we stored we stored what we stored integers i stored integer I just put some variable name i where these integers are stored these integers are stored in set and how do you print through print through the elements from the set sys4 So the value is, I'm writing some information here, let's write down. That's it, it's done. So it is so easy to write, to retrieve the elements on the set. Again I'm explaining. This is called for each loop. This we call as for each loop. So what does it mean? For each, for each, each is not there but we have to read like that. For each integer i stored in set of integer values set contains three values retrieve the first value and it will be stored in i so i contains the first value 5 it will run and again in the second second time set it will try to retrieve the second element it will try to store the 4 in i and 9 in i the set is empty so it will show the output as 